go, man. Get out of the now, child. Come back to put crosses on the colonel and them white folks. Man, they shouldn't talk that way about the colonel. I know. He's been getting worse and worse lately. Let me take you away from here. Oh, it's all right. It's just that I don't remember ever living here. But man, Sam, man, he keeps talking about. You were too young to remember, Chloe. I have a hazy memory of white people and... White people? Chloe, that's your white blood speaking. Maybe so. But let's don't talk about it now. Yeah, 
I'm savage. Joe oh, Mandy. Then come back to you. My baby land, I want to smooth out your pillow. Oh, Colonel Gordon, that's what I'm going to do to you for killing my Sam. This is what I'm going to beat you with. Don't be long now, Sam. Boy, you can rest easy. Because I'm going to work my voodoo. The thunder's going to growl and the light is going to rain. The devil's going to walk on a white man's grave. Colonel, you certainly sold me on the fact that the julep, with its fresh mint, dash of sugar, and generous portion of real liquor, is a nectar fit for the gods. An intelligent observation, young man. Here's to the julep. Say, Colonel, it might interest you to know I finished checking down at the turpentine plant. Found everything all right, I hope. Well, no, I didn't. I discovered a shortage of nearly 100 barrels of clear turpentine. Hmm. And believe me, I intend to find out where they've gone. That's fast work, Wade. You've been here only a week, and you're already catching up with them. I'd better go over with you, though, and check on. Say, what am I? A drop stitch around here? Uncle, if you don't start including me in on these giggle getters, I simply won't come down and visit you next year. Oh, nonsense, George. Look around and stun at waist growth, Eddie. In fact, I think. Oh, my I... dear, young Southern girls don't go easy. Curtains on the virtues of Southern girls, Uncle. This Cinderella's been around and has yet to find any mass that brings turpentine for her complexion. <laughs> Say, Colonel, if I ever have a daughter, I'm going to. You have, have a daughter? Hmm, optimist. So what do you mean? Who'd ever marry you? Honey, I never noticed that wormhole of fall, Mr. Carson. A uh, hundred barrels out of wormholes? <laughs> it was a worm, all right. But this one was big enough to use a chisel and a hammer. I'll find that worm and I'll horse with it. See you at the house, Wade. Home, Tom. Here's some berries I picked for you, Chloe. Thanks, Jim. They look mighty nice. Can I help you clean up out here? You know, I'd like to always. No, thanks. 
Didn't you tell me you had folks down here? I've no folks that cares anything about me. Uh, Jim, everybody likes you. You don't. Enough to marry me. Jim, that's different. You think because you got white blood, some white man will have you? Yeah, he'd have you, all right. But he wouldn't marry you. Listen, Chloe, as long as there's a drop of black blood in your veins, you won't be allowed to forget it. I know. Jim, what if I'm not caught? That's your mother. And I'll tell you folks. No, I don't believe in that. Sir. What I tell comes true. All right, let's hear it. Run a room in the swamp. Run a weep in the field. Run a fight in the night. In the devil's will. All right. Now I know everything. So long. <laughs> Look what the old devil done give me star for luck. Go to store and get me some hog meat and lasses. Follow that path and turn to the left and you'll come right there. Andy, here's some fish. Give them here. I'll fix them for you. Better go on after that gal. Going to the store. Better keep an eye on
Oh. If I ever get my hand on that Mr. Carter. I guess you saved my life that time. Thanks very much. Let me take the basket, Chloe. I'll go with the young lady.
Hello, Mandy. Not here. But I had a hoodoo meeting last night, and I'm going to get her to work with us. You better do. Follow that game. Been the happiest man in the world. What a lovely child. She was lucky, darling. Today is the anniversary of her death, and every year Uncle looks over her little possession. Excuse me, Colonel. Look, Colonel, what I found at the door. Somebody's putting the voodoo on you. Them switches means you're going to get whipped. And you see that phone in the heart of that mud man? I've seen that voodoo work before, and I know who made it. Who made it? That's old man this work. That yellow woman, old Sam, what got killed in the swamp. Mandy? <laughs> well, she's been gone for more than 15 years. Took her child and went down there with me. That's right, Colonel. But that woman sure was voodoo, and maybe she done come back. Maybe so, Ben. Maybe you're right. We'll leave these things here, and I'll figure it out. Yeah. I remember I fired Sam for something. He knocked me out and ran away. The folks tracked him down and lynched me. Mandy never would listen to any explanation. Always blamed me for Sam's death. Ah, poor little baby. She'd have been just about Joyce's age. If she'd Just a couple of juleps.
that service. No, sir, that habit. <laughs> Take these things out of here, Ben. And when you get a chance, go down to the cabin and see if Mandy's back. Yeah. Say, what is all this voodoo, Colonel? Just a mixture of savagery, gin, mumbo jumbo, and drumbeat. Sounds like the menu at Sing Sing. But why all the drum beating? Well, that's the way they summon the faithful to their meeting. Well, I've read about these voodoo gatherings, but I never believe them to be true. Say, do they actually kill people? They've been known to sacrifice enemies and cut out their hearts. Sounds awful far-fetched to me in this day and age. That man? I am, and what of it? But Chloe, a white man. You know he couldn't mean I it. love him. He thinks I'm white. Perhaps I am. But you're not. It isn't fair to him. You needn't have fear. I'll tell him. Chloe, you know I love you. I'd die for you. Won't you marry me? No, Jim, I won't. Now let me go. Well, I'm glad you're here. I was afraid you couldn't come, Miss Chloe. I promised you. Let's sit down over there. You know, Chloe, you are a very sweet little somebody. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. I'm in love with you, too. Oh, how can you be? You only met me yesterday. But I do. My heart's full of you. Don't you feel a little love for me, dear? I sure do. More than I should. We can't. You don't understand. Oh, but darling, just understand me. I want you always. This can't go on. You don't know. Oh, but dear, I want to marry you. Oh, we can't. It's madness. Oh, wait. Please. Please. Our love is wonderful. But today, I want to be alone with its memory.
for the love of heaven. Ain't y'all man the old Sam's woman what used to live around here a long time ago? Both I is. And you come go bend up. Uh, me and the colonel, here there's somebody living in the cabin. So what are you driving at? I heard what you said to Chloe. Well? Her mother's an old voodoo negress. Well, that's a lie. No, sir, that's not a lie. I know. I've lived with her. Brought him here in my boat. And another thing, sir. These blacks got it in for you plenty. You'd better be careful. Yes, sir, you'd better think it over. picture. I ain't never tested, Colonel. Was sitting right there this morning and I see it. Uh, Cole Hannah is here. Yeah. Hannah, the Colonel wants you. Yeah. 
Maybe you can tell me what these things are doing here. Those are my baby clothes. Your baby clothes? Yes. They got stained that way when I fell in the water and nearly drowned. I don't remember about it myself. But Mammy told me all about it. Fell in the water? Drowned? God be praised. You're my little baby. Uh, what, sir? You're my little baby. You don't really mean what you're saying. I know you're my daughter, but I thought was drowned. Well, you've got your mother's eyes and features. Oh, but you doubt about. Mandy was a mother, just wouldn't listen to me. Well, it seems I found my daughter and a son, too. Rest the Lord, rest the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> girl in the world? Everything. Betty Ann. That name suits you somehow. But I'll always remember the time I first met little Chloe. Chloe. Please let me forget that, dear. You know, I am Betty Ann. Betty Ann, mine forever, sweetheart. Oh, Dean. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Joy. Hey, what's the idea of all the ice lately? Ice? What ice? Oh, you should be asking. You've been giving plenty to me. Well, I've had a lot to think about. Yes, so I've noticed. I'll have some time tonight. What for? More thinking? Possibly. I've been talking to Uncle about Betty Ann. We can't allow him to make a mistake. Mistake? About Betty Ann's parentage? How ridiculous. Shakespeare had his doubts about the wise father, you know. Yes, but this father knows his own daughter. And I love her. Climb good. to welcome you all here tonight. Now I want you to be just as happy and gay as I am, and as my daughter, Betty Ann, is.
been wanting your gizzard a long time, Paul. Sheriff Harvey, we don't want any lynching. All right, Carl. 